This is Richard Simmons, and today I want to talk to you about building a foundation in the lives of your children so that they have a strong belief in God. I think one of the great gifts that we can give our children is the assurance that God exists and there are good reasons for His existence. This is a concern I had in the lives of my own children. I wanted them to have their own faith. I wanted them to be able to go out and engage with this skeptical culture that we live in. And that's why I wrote the book, Reflections on the Existence of God. Reflections is a handbook of accessible apologetics to start conversations with your kids to address their unspoken doubts and equip them with a firm foundation of faith. In these videos, I'll be discussing the evidence for God when your kids ask questions like, why does God allow evil like school shootings? Or faith in science at war? And if God exists, what's his name? You see, I don't think we realize as parents how atheism is on the rise. Both Pew and Gallup have done research on this. Among religiously unaffiliated teens, six in 10 teens say they believe in God or a universal spirit, but only 10% say they are absolutely certain in that belief. About one third of religious nuns aged 13 to 17 say they do not believe in God or higher power with most of this group expressing a fair amount of certainty in that position. The rise in atheism in America is fairly significant over the last 10 years. But what's really troubling is that where you're seeing the greatest increase is in older teenagers and people in their early 20s. Pew, however, went a little further and did more research because they were aware of the fact that in many instances, kids were leaving home to go to college or going into the workplace so many of them who grew up in the church and in Christian homes, they were abandoning their faith. And Pew really wanted to know why. And so they located a number of these young people and asked the question, what happened? Why have you abandoned your faith? And one of the main responses was, I had doubts that nobody ever really addressed. I had questions that were never answered. And so I would just say to a parent, before your children leave, you need to make sure, do they have doubts? Do they have questions that need to be addressed? Now, the reason this is so important is, of course, we want them to have a strong faith. But the way we view God has such a huge impact on our worldview. What is our worldview? Our worldview is, it's the lens through which we see life. It's really our perspective. Your worldview has such an impact on your political views, on the way you view morality and ethics. Your worldview has a huge impact on how you answer life's great questions. Who am I as a human being? Why am I here? Uh, what is my purpose? What is my ultimate destiny when I die? As you watch these videos, I'd like to remind you that atheism and theism are alternative belief systems that offer radically different views. They're not just two separate views of life. They're opposing mutually exclusive views, delivering opposite conclusions about the meaning of life and our existence as human beings. A person who's seriously searching for an answer to the question of God's existence must take time to fully understand the logical conclusions derived from both theism and atheism. Ultimately, the belief which is true will be consistent with the real world and the one which is untrue will present a view of life that is not in harmony with reality. Our children need to understand why they believe in God and who God is to them personally. They need to know that what they believe is true.